I like was hyperventilating and I was super pale and I'm like shaking and I'm crying and I just like, I can't believe it. But it like really hadn't hit me that I was going to ISEF, the International Science and Engineering Fair. My name's Annalisa Minky, I'm 16. I go to Immaculate Heart High School and I'm a junior. <laughs> I'm a mildly social person, but I'm really excited to just like meet people from other countries that are my age and have similar passions. So this is the, wait, I don't know what day it is. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Is it Wednesday or Thursday? Thursday. So this is the fourth day of ISAF. Uh, it's public viewing day, which means most of the time you have to have one of these badges to get on the floor. But today anyone can come on the floor and just ask questions about all the cool projects here, which there's a lot of cool projects here. It's been amazing. I've met so many people from other countries. I've exchanged social media. We've exchanged little tokens during the pin exchange. My name is Miyamutur. I'm uh, 70 years old. Uh, I'm, I'm from Japan. Hey, I'm Andrew Karam. I'm 18 and I'm from Crofton, Maryland. My name is Rand and this is my partner Tala. Uh, we are from Jordan. My name is Ramisha, I'm 16, I'm from, I'm representing Pakistan, we're here, I live in Islamabad. My name is Andrei, I'm from Russia, from Moscow. One, two, three. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. I would probably describe myself as extremely busy by choice. I do a lot of different activities, dance, cello, baritone, taekwondo. I do a lot of reading as well. I don't sleep a lot, which isn't very good for me at all. Both my parents are educated as engineers. My father's a practicing engineer and my mother is a math teacher. With that kind of influence, I really liked science from a very young age. I wanted to be an entomologist at age four. So when the school required science fair, I wasn't all that, you know, disappointed or annoyed by that as some of my classmates were. And my first project was about butterflies. Well, caterpillars. In high school, it's not required. I'm the only person in my high school who does science fairs. I will ask just questions mostly to myself. Like, how was this thing constructed? How does this work? Why does it work? And the more I do science fair and the more I try to answer questions, the more I seem to be asking them. I don't like wearing the safety glasses because it makes it harder to see the dry eyes. But my mom gets really mad at me if I don't wear them. I was really curious why no one was looking into the effect of water vapor. So I decided I might as well do it. And that proved to be extraordinarily difficult. We're seeing just an increase in the power of storms and that might be because when we burn hydrocarbons, we put extra water and extra energy into the right parts of the atmosphere to create those kinds of monster storms. So more wind and more water could contribute to more extreme and more frequent storm systems. That knowledge can help those who predict weather understand these relationships a bit more, so we might be able to predict weather with slightly more accuracy. They need to sit at the door at 1230, so they haven't left yet. Don't worry about it. You are right. more special than whatever anybody else wants. My name is Amanda. 
Um, I am Annalise's older sister. I also happen to be her adult sponsor on this trip to ISAF. I competed at ISAF in 2015, 2016, and 2017. So I usually don't do very well in science fair. Uh, that hasn't really stopped me from doing it because I just genuinely like to do it. She's been doing science fair at the same time as I have and she just hasn't had a project that blew everybody away. I'm particularly stubborn and the fact I've lost so often has made me more determined to win because of that stubbornness. This was the one that like she hit a home run with. I'm so, so proud of her and I'm honored that I got to be here. I grew up, instead of like playing with Barbie dolls, I had marble tracks, and I had race car tracks, and I had blocks galore. And so like one of those things of growing up building things and testing things and doing stuff kind of translated into middle school, which then translated into high school, and for me, translated into college. And what are you doing now? I am a hydrology major at the University of Arizona, and I have an undergraduate grant to continue my science fair project at the university level. Which means if we were to just from what I've learned from other people who have been here before, being successful in terms of like winning stuff, you have to really do something that contributes something to society. Whether it's more information or a new invention or some kind of super cool whatever, it has to help someone. Being successful in terms of like successful in your own way, you just like have to not be super nervous and shy. Just like come out and meet people and just, you know, be yourself and meet a bunch of cool people. And I consider that being as successful as winning something. Do you need anything else? Not that I know of. My hope is that she goes to U of A so that we can kind of be sisters in crime. Um, but that's completely up to her. I know that she's going to one day change the world. So it's a matter of how do I support her to get the steps so that she can do that.